Well, I saw something that I thought I would never see uh, this past weekend. My younger son, who's 20, I guess, came home in full military uniform. Uh, I thought I'd never see it because my father was a pacifist during the Second World War, a conscientious objector. He had three boys, my twin brother and my younger brother. And uh, when we were moving into our teens, Vietnam was a reality in the United States. My dad had an opportunity to go to Canada, and one of the reasons he chose to go up there was because it would give us options, because if the draft came up and our number was called, we didn't have to go. Well, I was the last year of the draft. I'm on, my number, I think, was 165. They were only drafting up until about 70 or something. I don't even remember that number. But I knew that my number was way too high. My younger brother, who's 13 months younger than us, uh, by that time, they had stopped the draft, so he really didn't have to worry about it. But we were living in Canada. We'd been there for quite some time. We were landed immigrants, and uh, we just didn't ever have to worry about it. And that was Dad's things. And I've grown up a pacifist and an old hippie, and I believe in peace. I don't see much of it. I don't see much chance of it. But it's one of those things I keep believing in, that man might get his shit together and... Uh, look and see his peace as an alternative. Uh, it won't come out of the United States, not out of my country, that's for sure. But my son came home in full military uniform, and it was a little disconcerting. I didn't even like them in Boy Scout uniforms. But uh, he looked pretty good, and he was pretty happy. And then it was the Swiss military. I called a friend of mine from England, and I said, you know, Ian's in the military. And um, and we got talking, and I said something about the Swiss military, and he got laughing, and he said, man, I thought you were talking about the American military, and I thought you were being rather casual about it, because if you were in the American military, I wouldn't be rather casual about it. I'd be vocal and upset and everything else. But he seems to be learning a lot. At least he learned how to make his bed. Came home and told us it had been done completely wrong when he left, and the maid, we don't really have one, um, hadn't done it right. So he went and made his bed, and uh, it actually, he looks cute in the uniform. Uh, he likes it so far. Uh, needed some work on him chiropractically. We have to sort his knees out. He tore up his knees uh, last year skiing, and we got him fixed without surgery. But we've had to take care of him and, and uh, every so often work on him and get the, the knees working. But if you have to be in the military, you know, that, the Swiss is at, absolutely the one to do. Uh, they've been at peace for 700 years or something. Uh, Sun Tzu says, in times of peace, prepare for war. And... Uh, it seems that this little country has quite a bit of stuff going for it. And an army, he'll be in there 10 months. And uh, I don't think he comes out with a rank, but I really don't care. He seems to be learning a lot and having fun. And I'm actually kind of relaxed. I'm okay with this. The old hippie is okay that his son's being a soldier.